John, you kept going, got the point. What's your initial reaction to today's draw? Yeah, I think it's, uh, all things considered, it's a good point at home. Um, we knew it was going to be difficult. The weather conditions were not um, conducive to free-flowing football. Um, and we know that Southport will always come and make things difficult for you. You know, they're a big, strong team who play for restarts. And, um, I, I, and of course, that's where the goal came from. But uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, we're, we're quite happy with the point. The ball seemed to be out of play more often than it was in. The conditions were not conducive. Southport took as much time out as possible, as you can understand, as an away side. But you did keep going and, and got the goal eventually. Yeah, I mean, um, did Southport do anything different to what we would have done if we'd been 1-0 up? Or I, I probably don't think so, and you don't want to criticise anybody. But you know, it then becomes the job of the, uh, of, of the referee to, to try and... Uh, Stop that happening, and uh, in my opinion, he, he failed miserably today. Um, I had a stopwatch going in the second half because I knew what would happen, and I only stopped it for goal kicks. And there was eight and a half minutes wasted on goal kicks this afternoon, and we played four minutes extra time today. Um, so I think that says a lot, doesn't it? Eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. It's more than twenty percent of the second half the ball was out of play or wasn't on the field of play and that's not uh, that's not good for people who've paid good money to come and watch us play. If your strikers can't get a goal, it's good to have a centre-half that can pop up and Luke Shields has done that in all three games that you've managed down here now. Yeah, to be fair to the skipper, he's, um, he's, certainly, he's certainly coming up with the goods at the moment as far as goals are concert, concerned. Um, and perhaps, you know, that's, that's what we've missed uh, since we took over is that big target man up, up there, you know, with both Jordan and, and James being injured. Um, it, it, we've certainly missed that 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 big sort of strong figure up there. Um, although, as I said earlier, you know, I think Danny Elliott's done a great job leading the line. Um, but it would be nicer to see Danny playing off the shoulder alongside a, a great big target man. That would that would be <coughs> excuse me. That would be that would be a nice sight to see. Jay Rollins back as well and. Um, he's been out for a long time and he that's has. got to be a bonus for you as a management team. It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, getting all the players back uh, will be you know, will be a bonus because there's some very good players in the treatment room at the moment and um, we'd like to see all them back as soon as possible. How have, <coughs> you, um, how have you and Paul settled in? We've obviously heard quite a bit from Paul so far, not, not so much from yourself, but... Um, Real opportunity to, to take the club forward with, with everything that's in place now? Well, yeah, we hope so. I mean, the infrastructure's here and um, everything's in place for the club to uh, to move on to the next step. Um, that becomes our job to, to make that happen on the field and we're certainly working uh, we're working around the clock to, uh, to try and achieve that. Um, you know, people have asked me what I think our chances are this season and I just answer the same question every answer the same question with the same answer there's still 51 points to be played for and that's a lot of football games for trinity choosing night. how seriously are yourself and paul going to take that as a competition oh uh, very seriously i mean you know we 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 always play we always put a team on the park that we want we think is good enough to win a football match because we want to win every game that we play so it will be a good side um i think it'll be a great opportunity to get some uh, some game time for lads who've been on the bench and lads who are coming back from injury. Um, but but it'll, be a, it'll be a strong side and it'll be a, str a side that will go out there and compete.